Yo, what up, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But listen, before I do, you already know what to do. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I definitely, definitely do appreciate it. It really does go a long way. But listen, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha. Y'all, I just wanna make sure that for those of you who are thinking about getting into this business, y'all better make sure that y'all calculate into y'all expenses, y'all CPM. I mean, just pretty much make sure that you put money aside for expenses because it can get expensive. Something like this could really So I'm pretty much, I'm actually considering putting my authority out of service for a couple of months until peak season, until things pick up because now Big Bertha got to go in the shop. She's got to go in the shop. She needs some repairs. And so anyway, right now it's just not really worth my time. It's not that you can't make money. That's not what I'm saying. You can definitely make money in this business. You can make money right now. You can make money during peak season. You can make money all year round. If you go about setting up your business the right way, that you know what loads to take, what loads not to take, and how to get contracts and things like that. You can definitely make money, especially if you go over the road. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying for me is that it's not worth my time. I value my time a lot. And right now, the amount of energy that is taken for me to run this business, to get it to where I wanna be, is just not moving fast enough like I anticipated it. And so anyway, now Big Bertha has gotta go in the shop with some front end issues the front end and so i'm gonna get down here which i don't know why i'm gonna get down here anyway because i'm just being dramatic but <laughs> the kingpins need to be replaced on big bertha and um it's not that the parts cost a whole lot of money the parts itself is only 200 to 300 dollars for the the kingpin kit uh, but it's more so the work that needs to be done apparently it takes a lot of effort to get to the kingpin and it's not something that I can do on my own. And apparently it's gonna take the mechanics all day to do it. And so I've got two opinions and they both pretty much came back with uh, the same price range, which is about two to three grand. And uh, it's not fun and uh, it's not fun. And I'm also just not looking forward to taking care of that. So, so basically I just wanted to hop on here real quick and just say, be sure that you put money aside for when repairs happen. Cause it's not if it's when. And like I said, that's three grand that's gone that I was planning to use to grow the business. And how that's another setback and it's gonna take me longer. And I'm just not really, I'm not feeling it y'all. So y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. I'm thinking about going out of service until uh, November. November. And uh, the other thing is, it's gonna take the mechanic two weeks to get to it. Uh, I mean, of course I can bring it to a TA services or international dealer and get it done quicker, but it's gonna cost more money. And I don't know, I just don't feel like dealing with it no more. I can make way more money uh, in real estate, uh, flipping houses, flipping contracts. You know, I have that skill set as well as shit, anything would be better shit. Uber and Lyft might make more money than what this is doing right now after expenses and repairs and things like that. So. Um, I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. Maybe I'm just being a little pessimistic right now because I don't feel like dealing with this shit. But, but, you know, y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. Like I said, I'm not saying that you can't make money in the business. You could definitely make money in the business. I can still go out here and make money in the business. It's only two grand, it's only three grand. I can make it back within the same week. But it's not the point. The point is I value my time and it's just taking so much time and energy is draining me because at the end of the day, I, I'm a boss. <laughs> and right now I basically just feel like I own the job. And the thing is like, I didn't sign up for this so that I could continue to drive and work year round. Like I was supposed to be initially in the truck working for two months to three months max. And now we're going on month eight, month seven, month eight or something like that. And I'm still in the truck and it's still getting pushed back every single day. And so, Anyway, it's just not seeming worth it to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short. I got other things I need to do right now. I just want to give you a quick update why I didn't actually post a video uh, this past Sunday is because I was dealing with this. I was over the road, had to get back here, uh, had some stuff going on with family and um, not gonna get into that, but it's just a whole lot going on and it's just not seeming worth it. You know, things are happening every day and I'm, you know, 500, 600 miles away. Anything can happen at any given time and it's just, not sitting well with me uh, to be able to be over the road and having issues with the truck and and all kind of stuff. But 
So yeah, it's just not sitting well with me, but that's it. That's all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.